Welcome to tonight's broadcast. We can't believe you're dumb enough to keep watching, but here we go. Our top stories tonight. Biden's having the Chinese Communist Party influence our upcoming midterm elections. Fauci's done. Liz Cheney's awesome, some other garbage. And LA notches its insanity level up yet again. Listen closely, because the more you do, the more we control you. Let's get into it. In order to uphold a democracy, one would think that you would need to enlist the help of democracy-destroying communists. And that's exactly what President Bicycle Brandon has done. President Hunter's dad is having China-owned TikTok censor what they deem to be harmful and false narratives surrounding our upcoming midterm elections. This, of course, is on top of the World Economic Forum, Facebook, and Twitter, all announcing they'll be censoring narratives around the midterm elections that aren't based on our narrative. I think we're going to be getting censored. And with 99% of all online political donations made by Twitter employees going to Democrats, we can only expect a fair and balanced approach to censorship, as it always is. And in contrast to President Biden's censoring partnership with TikTok, while in office, President Trump announced that he was going to ban TikTok in order to protect America from the Communist Party that controls it. But Biden trumps Trump by having TikTok get involved directly with U.S. elections. President Biden and the trustworthy people in the shadows that pull the strings know that having communists destroy democratic free speech in order to alter democratic elections is the only sensible way to uphold a democracy. And we assure you that our national security has never been stronger because at least the communists working with the White House in order to censor Americans' free speech are from a foreign country. And in other election news, with the primaries that have already passed, we'd like to offer our condolences to Dick Cheney's unaborted clump of cells named Liz that lost by the narrowest of Grand Canyon-sized margins. Almost 40 points. Upon her loss, the warmonger, who's a leftist disguised as a conservative, decided that a good way to recover from her loss might be to run for president. That way, she can lose by an even bigger margin, which will probably make her feel better about her primary loss. Next up, Lord Fauci, who's previously announced he would be retiring at the end of Biden's term, has re-announced he'll be retiring even earlier, this December. Unless that's when the deep state plans on ending Biden's term, that could still make it the same, but we'll see. And for the extremists who feel relief that Fauci is stepping down off his unelected throne, don't expect the next guy to be any different. Though he's retiring, Dr. Wattenberg Code says his efforts won't stop. He stated he'll continue to use his expertise to advance science and health. Thank God. Because that's like living in a haunted house and the ghost retires so he can haunt you even more, which is better. Hopefully the Fauci effect will live on strong. What is the Fauci effect, you ask? Well, recently Fauci sat down with people who can somehow stand him and explained what the Fauci effect is. Take a look. It's called the Fauci effect. And what I symbolize in, a, in an era of the normalization of untruths and lies and, and all the things you're seeing going on in society from January 6th to everything else that goes on, people are craving for consistency, for integrity, for truth, and for people caring about people. When he retires, does that mean he'll get away scot-free with the consistency, integrity, and truth that he's haunted the country with? Well, Senator Rand Paul doesn't think so. Upon Fauci's retirement announcement, Senator Paul tweeted this. Fauci's resignation will not prevent a full-throated investigation into the origins of the pandemic. He will be asked to testify under oath regarding any discussions he participated in concerning the lab leak. Well, with service-oriented statements like that, we can expect Senator Paul to be kicked off of Twitter real soon. If they do what they're supposed to. On the topic, the Daily Wire's Tim Mead curiously says, Fauci will retire right after potential red wave sweeps Congress? I'm sure that's just a coincidence. A red wave sweeping Congress? Not if we can help it. Please refer to our top story once again. But to further protect against a Democratic election that could have a red wave plaguing Congress, insider information has it that another lockdown is being planned for October 16th. Stay tuned to see if this plan is carried out. 
Assuming the lockdowns happen to protect against a yet-to-be-released disease, you can expect ultra-reliable mail-in ballots to be used for the midterm elections to ensure our democracy doesn't miss a beat. In other news, everything that happens in California is pretty intelligent. And now, with zero cases of COVID being detected in animals, LA County is coming to the rescue by offering free COVID tests for animals. These free tests are being paid for by the CDC, which kind of means they're absolutely not free because you're the one paying for them. But it's worth it because the benevolent unelected leaders at the CDC are protecting you from catching diseases from animals that don't have those diseases. Your tax dollars are once again paying off as they're working against you. And on that note, you've probably already heard the IRS is hiring 87,000 new agents to work against you. But what they don't want you to know is that part of the job description is being willing to carry a firearm and use deadly force. This just in! We want you to think that guns are bad. Unless they're guns that can be used against you, then they're good. And in unrelated news, the IRS has also bought over 5 million rounds of ammunition that you paid for so they can use it against you. But only if they want to. Why does the IRS need millions of rounds of ammunition and require their 87,000 new troops to use deadly force if necessary? Well, probably not for any of the IRS's current responsibilities, but much like hockey, you don't pass the puck to where the player is. You pass the puck to where they're gonna be. So we can only imagine with great delight what the IRS's new responsibilities will be in the months and years to come under the current regime's guidance. Might they be preparing to audit more than your taxes? Perhaps audit your social credit score? Auditing your compliance with mandates? Or perhaps auditing your obedience against the First Amendment? We can only hope so because America is the land of the free and we plan to fix that. That's it for tonight's uplifting news. Enjoy the upcoming tighter grip on censorship, Fauci's new ways of haunting you from retirement, and look out for the IRS. They'll be coming for you with deadly force for your protection. Good night.